timecode overlay, or timecode burn-in as it's also known, displays the current timecode position superimposed over the video window and when available via video hardware outputs. Timecode overlay is commonly used as a running reference point for direction notes, voiceover, ADR cues, and Foley cues in sessions using video. The timecode displayed in the overlay is the timecode rate selected in the session setup window. To enable timecode overlay, you will need a video track with at least one video clip on the timeline. For timecode to display correctly, it should match the frame rate of the imported video file as this sets the video project rate. For supported frame rates, this can also be set to half or double the video file's frame rate. Unsupported rates will display an NA for not available. From the setup menu, choose timecode overlay settings. The options include turning the overlay display on and off with the checkbox. This can also be done on the video track by clicking on the timecode overlay button. Additionally, command clicking on Mac or control clicking on Windows will open the timecode overlay settings window. Size selects between small, medium, large, and extra large display for the overlay. Position selects the location of the overlay, top left, center, right, and bottom left, center, and right. Timecode color enables selection between white text with a black background or black text with a white background. The opacity slider allows you to set how much of the text background can be seen. Reset will return the timecode overlay settings window to default. Timecode overlay settings are saved with the session and the preferences and those will be recalled when reopening or making a new session. You can optionally include timecode overlay in your video exports from the bounce mix option when selecting an MOV file. This is independent of the current display status.